Hey everyone, I just want to make a quick video here of uh, how I get tractors up on my table. This is a platform table that I have here. And uh, we use some ramps here to uh, put our tractors up here if we're doing something that, uh, you know, that we don't have to lay on the ground for. Um, everything I have here, uh, pretty much I got from Walmart. Here's a, the Reese one ton. Uh, I guess it's a, like to put on a ball hitch on your truck. And you can see I have this metal plate mounted, and then I have the bowl there. This bracket goes on, then this just slips on. And then it's powered by this uh, uh, Napa Legend, Legend uh, 75 battery. Uh, this is out of a, a Dodge Sprinter, so that's what's hooked up to that. And then to help it along, I have just a, a, a six, amp, six amp uh battery charger on it. So uh, you have a, a remote here, a cable that you can, you know, go up to like 10 foot from the machine and you can see I have it hooked to the back of the tractor there on the hitch. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use the button here, we're gonna bring it back towards us. And you can see it brings the tractor up. Yes, it is a little slow. You gotta bring it all the way up here, but uh, the cable I think is like 25 foot, so I can reach out beyond the ramp there. And if, if there's a tractor that doesn't run, uh, you know I can use this to uh, at least get at least get the tractor to the end of the ramp here at the shed, and then uh, I can pull it in from there. Uh, I don't even have the table bolted down. There's just uh, some random stuff under here that I have parts parts bins and whatever else here but I'm gonna set you up on the tripod here at the end of the shed and then uh, we're gonna bring this tractor up on so let me go around here set that there I'll go around then you'll see the tractor come up I'll try not to stand in your way. One nice thing about this, once it gets close enough, if your wheels aren't straight to come up the ramp, I can reach up there and help do that. I'll turn them to the right a little. the electric motor in there and pulling the full weight of the tractor. I would imagine this tractor weighs about 500 pounds, maybe a little bit more than that. It is pretty heavy steel yet. Once I get the back tires up to the top of the table, I'll take a break, let the motor take a little bit of a break there. Now as you can see here, it's going to hit the deck wheels. Uh, unfortunately there isn't too much I can do. Is that deck height lever all the way up on the other side there? Anyway, I don't know if you can see that. Get over there. Obviously, you want to have the deck up as high as you can when you're doing this. Or, I could have left it hang out over the other way a little bit, but... Is that up all the way? It could be. That, that could be as far as it goes. That's it. Okay. I'll pan you up here a little bit better.
you go. Don't run it now because it ain't loose. No, I know. Uh. So there you go, guys. That's how I uh, get the machines up on the uh, the table here. If I want to work on something, in this case, uh, I want to replace the air filter. The uh, the carburetor I already rebuilt, the tractor does run and everything, but I want to do the air filter and I want to look at uh, all the pulleys underneath the tractor for the dry system as well as everything for the mower deck. Just make sure everything's okay because the tractor has been setting for approximately 10 years. So, but yeah, it runs. So I just want to make a, a quick video here for you guys so you can see. Let me go around the other side here. You guys can kind of see this thing sits up on my table here then so it makes it a lot easier to work with uh, you don't have to bend down like I said so uh, yeah so thanks a lot for watching guys uh, as far as uh, the the boards go the only thing I bought these are two by eights uh, the little corner pieces up here that go up on the table uh, I think I got that from a friend of mine they were uh, new used ones I guess uh, or yeah new used ones uh, new uh, older ones that were never out of the box um, the table or the table here we made um, it has a lot of heavy-duty bolts going into the legs or six legs uh, it's approximately 40 inches wide and uh, seven foot long um, but yeah so there you go now you guys seen how I like to put my uh, equipment up on the table here to work on it make it a little bit easier on yourself so uh all right guys i'll take care i'll see you in the next one